Leave her alone. There's a call this afternoon from one Montgomery County leader for calm and patience in the wake of some extreme reactions to a very disturbing video. You're seeing it here. The video shows a man assaulting a child who was putting up posters commemorating George Floyd on the Capitol Crescent Trail in Bethesda. It happened on Monday. Now, what's happened since then has been a stream of online threats and harassment directed at people who appear to have been falsely accused. Scott Broom is with us now live to talk more about this. Scott, this has gone viral coast to coast. In, in incredible numbers. I mean, that video has been viewed more than 24 million times. Now, one of these accused falsely accused people is a Montgomery County police officer. Another is an individual in the investment business. Montgomery County police themselves have taken to social media to try and clear the air. Hey, leave her alone. The online threats and harassment forced Montgomery County police to issue a statement calling the reports that a former officer was involved as false. At least one other person was named as a possible suspect by Twitter detectives, but police have not announced any charges in the case. Online accusers claim images of the accused individuals bear a resemblance to images of the attacker. And in one case, people used a cycling app called Strava as evidence apparently in error. The attack on the Capitol Crescent Tail Monday shows an adult cyclist attacking an adolescent girl as two other teens react. The trio were posting flyers commemorating George Floyd, according to a Montgomery County Council member. Montgomery Park Police issued an appeal for tips as the video skyrocketed to more than 25 million views and the online accusations intensified. Hatred begets hatred. Will Jawando, a Montgomery County Council member, called for a lowering of the temperature. Twitter can be a very dangerous place, so I think I would caution people just not to jump to conclusions, let police do their work. I think you see both the problem and the solution of, uh, relating to racism in that video. You see young people trying to uh, post flyers and uh, memorialize George Floyd in the hopes that we can move past systemic racism. And, and then you have someone who's so angry at what they're doing that lashes out and, and puts his hands on children. So it's obviously a horrible situation that uh, shows that we have a lot of work to do, even here in Montgomery County. So again, if you've seen these online posts that uh, somebody has been accused, those have not been verified by police. And in fact, in one case, police have said those accusations are flat out false. Now, Park Police, uh, about two hours ago, promised more information forthcoming. So far, they are still remaining silent. They have not announced any arrests yet. The parents of the kids seen in the video have declined to speak to WUSA 9. Scott Broom, WUSA 9, reporting live. Back to you, Lorenzo. So 